In today's busy world, we tend to forget lots of things. And in those lots of things, there may be few tasks which are urgent, high, low or important. So to overcome these challenges, today we are going to create a to-do list in Excel. You can also call this daily routine tracker. We are going to create this with very less of few formulas. And this tracker will be fully dynamic. Hi, my name is Vijay and you are watching Office Mom. Let's start the video without any delay. This is a daily routine tracker or to-do list in Excel. This can be your daily, weekly or monthly tracker. Before creating the format, let's see how it works. Over here we have got task and the entry of task will be done manually. After that category, deadline, day, priority, comments, status and action. Once you have done the entry of task, category and deadline, day will be visible automatically. You will have to select the priority from the drop down. Right now I have kept only three priorities. In case you want to increase the list, you can. Over here we have got comments. If you have got any comments regarding your task, you can put over here. After that status, you will have to select the status from the drop down. Once the task is completed, select completed. And after that we have got action. Suppose that your deadline date is passed and you haven't completed the task. So just select not started and in action you will see please reschedule. If you will select the status as completed, nothing will be visible against the status. On the top, we will be able to see total task, due today, overdue, completed, not started and in progress. And over here we have got the priorities, urgent, high and low. Whatever priority you will insert in your format, it will feature over here. And if your tasks are not completed and you can see please reschedule, number of rescheduled tasks will feature over here. Let's start creating a new sheet now. We will select the whole sheet and we'll take all the things in mid. Now I'll click on B2 and this will be total task due today and this will be overdue. I'll take column number A closer, we'll select all three and we'll create borders. Now I'll select D and E and we'll merge together. We'll drag it down, we'll create borders. This will be completed, not started, in progress. I'll put some color over here. We'll select this and we'll create borders. Now I'll click over here. This will be urgent, high and low. We'll select all three. We'll press control one. We'll go to custom. We'll delete general and we'll put at rate space double inverted comma priority double inverted comma close and we'll do OK. We'll adjust the column size. So we can see priority word against urgent, high and low. We'll create borders over here. We'll select all three and we'll create borders. We'll make column I little bit bigger. We'll select two cells and we'll merge together. We'll put some color over here. We'll change the font color. This will be rescheduled task. We'll press alt and we'll hit enter. Task. Enter. We'll select both cells and we'll create borders. We'll leave row number 5 blank and we'll click on row number 6. We'll select this and we'll merge together. We'll put some color over here. We'll change the font color. We'll make row size bigger. We'll take row number 5 closer. This will be daily routine tracker or to-do list. Enter. We'll increase the font size. We'll change the font style. We'll select all these and we'll change the font style. We'll select the whole sheet. We'll go to home, conditional formatting, highlight cell rule, equal to, and over here I'll type urgent. We'll click on drop down and we'll select green fill with dark green text. And we'll do OK. So the urgent priority got highlighted. We'll go to conditional formatting once again, highlight cell rule, equal to, and over here I'll type high. For high, I'll select red color with red text and we'll do OK. We'll go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rule, equal to and this time I'll type low. We'll click on the drop down and we'll select yellow fill with dark yellow text and we'll do OK. So all the priorities got highlighted. We'll adjust the column size over here. We'll go to view, show and we'll remove the grid lines. I'll leave row number 7 blank and we'll click on row number 8. This will be task, category, deadline date, 
day we'll adjust the column size priority comments status action we'll select the whole row and we'll take all the things in center we'll go to home and we'll take all the things in center we'll select this and we'll put some color over here we'll change the font color we'll create borders we'll take this closer we'll create borders over here also in case you want to put serial number you can now i'll select all and we'll select few extra rows and we'll create borders task i'll increase the column size for comments also i'll increase the column size i'll take task from my example file and we'll paste over here paste special values we'll increase the column size category for category we will create drop downs we'll select this we'll go to data data validation from here i'll select list source in case you want to take the source from any other sheet you can but over here i'm going to type manually in source you can type up to 250 characters manually household admin audition bank follow up whatever category you want to add you can now i'll do okay so our drop down list got created deadline date i'll put some random date over here enter we'll take this in center we'll select this we'll press ctrl 1 we'll go to date and we'll select a desired date format and we'll do okay so our date format got changed i'll click over here and we'll drag it down to insert more dates we'll select all the dates we'll go to home conditional formatting highlight cell rule and from here we will go to a date occurring date occurring study we will highlight study we'll click on the drop down customize format fill and from here we will select a desired color font font color will be white and we'll do okay okay so yesterday's date got highlighted in black we'll go to conditional formatting highlight cell rule date occurring and we will click just in front of study and we'll select tomorrow for tomorrow we will select a desired color fill and we'll select a desired color font font color will be black and we'll do okay okay so yesterday's date got highlighted now we have to highlight today also we can highlight today by going in highlight cell rule and date occurring over here we get the option of today but i don't want to highlight a specific cell i want to highlight the row so i'll close this now we will select this means we will select task category and deadline we'll go to conditional formatting new rule from here we will select classic in case you are using windows you'll not be getting the option of classic you'll be diverted to next step and that is use a formula to determine which cells to format and the formula is plus or equal to we will click on first deadline we'll remove dollar from center is equal to today bracket open bracket close we'll click on the drop down customize format fill and from here we will select red color font font color will be white and we will do okay okay so today's date got highlighted in red. So now we know what's today's date and what task is pending or are pending. Day. The formula will be plus or equal to text bracket open. We'll select date comma double inverted comma D D D D means D four times double inverted comma close bracket close and we will hit enter. So we got day against date. Before dragging this down, we will go to formula bar and we'll insert the criteria of if if bracket open deadline is equal to blank for blank we will insert double inverted comma twice comma if it will be blank in result we want blank so we'll put double inverted comma twice once again comma we'll come to the end we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter now we will drag this down priority for priority we will create drop down we'll select this we'll go to data data validation from here we will select list source we will take this to left side and we we'll select all three and we'll do okay so our drop down got created we will select urgent high and low this is getting highlighted because we had used conditional formatting on the whole sheet 
will select some priorities over here also. Comments. Whatever comment you want to insert, you can. Now I'll come to status. We'll select from top to bottom. We'll go to data. Data validation. From here, I'll select list. Source. Completed. Comma. Not started. Comma. In progress. And we'll do OK. So the drop down list for status got created. We'll select from top to bottom. We'll go to home. Conditional formatting. Highlight cell rule. Equal to. And over here, I'll type completed. We'll click on the drop down. Customize format. Fill. And we'll select green color for completed. Font. Font color will be white. OK. OK. So completed got highlighted in green. In the same way, I'll highlight not started and in progress. So all the heads of status got highlighted. Action. For action, we will use formula. And the formula will be plus or equal to if. Along with if, we are going to use and. And bracket open. We'll click on deadline. If deadline is smaller than today, smaller than today, bracket open, bracket close. When we put today, bracket open, bracket close, it takes today's date, comma. If deadline date will be smaller than today's date, we want to feature rescheduled. We'll go to formula bar, double inverted comma, rescheduled, double inverted comma, close, comma. So over here, we are going to use two criterias. First criteria will be deadline date and second criteria will be status. If it will be showing completed, we don't want to feature anything. But in case it's showing not started, we want to feature reschedule over here. So now we will click on status is equal to double inverted comma not started, double inverted comma close, bracket close, comma, double inverted comma, reschedule or please reschedule, double inverted comma close, comma, if both the criteria will not be there, we don't want anything to be visible. So we will put double inverted comma twice for blank. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So we can't see anything over here now. I'll drag this down and just see, please reschedule is visible. If I'll do not started over here also, same thing got visible. I'll keep this as completed. Reschedule task. Over here, we are going to count how many tasks to be rescheduled. So I'll click over here, plus or equal to count if, bracket open, we'll select from top to bottom, comma, double inverted comma, please reschedule. Double inverted comma close, bracket close, and we will hit enter. We'll take this in center. So currently there is only one task which needs to be rescheduled. If I change the status from here, the number got changed to two. Perfect. Now we will insert our formulas over here. Total task. It will be plus or equal to count A, bracket open. We will select all the tasks from top to bottom. In case you want to select extra rows, you can. Or you can just put one zero over here. And number of rows will be increased. Close the bracket. Hit enter. So currently we have got total five tasks. We'll select all and we'll take all the things in center. Over here also, we will take all the things in center. Perfect. Due today, the formula will be plus or equal to count if bracket open. We will select all deadline dates. Over here also I'll add one zero. So number of rows will be increased. Comma today. T e O D A Y today bracket open bracket close we'll close the bracket once again and we'll hit enter so we have got total one task which is due today if i'll change the date over here also total task became two i'll undo this overdue the formula for overdue will be plus or equal to count if bracket open range we will select deadline dates we'll add one more zero to increase row numbers comma double inverted comma, smaller than, double inverted comma, close, and today, bracket open, bracket close, 
we'll close bracket one more time and we'll hit enter so currently total three tasks are overdue we'll select due today and we'll highlight this in red we'll change the font color we'll select this and we'll change the font color we'll select this we'll press control we'll select this also and we'll change the font colors now we will put formula for completed not started and in progress plus or equal to count if bracket open we will select status from top to bottom we will put zero to increase row numbers comma we will click over here on completed we will close the bracket but before dragging this down we will lock our cells we will click over here we will press function f4 over here also we will press function f4 and all the cells got logged now we will hit enter we will drag this down so currently there are two tasks which are not started and we can see the number as two if we will change the status completed numbers got changed we will select this we'll press control we'll select this and we'll select these also we'll press control one we'll go to custom we'll remove general and we'll put has semicolon has semicolon dash or minus and we'll do ok if there will be any zeros it will be showing dash let me change the status from here not started and we can see dash instead of zero priority plus or equal to count if bracket open we will select our priorities from top to bottom we'll add one zero to increase row numbers we'll press function f4 and the cells will be logged comma we'll click on priority over here we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter so formula got inserted we will drag this down urgent is one and high priority and low priorities are two each if i'll do some changes over here high urgent priority got zero and if i'll do all priorities as high urgent and low priority got zero so our format is ready now i'll provide link of this file in description box in case you want to download you can i'm sure you must have loved the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe see you soon with a new topic till then bye bye